Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen, the channel that brings you your team every single day, the channel that brings you all the latest news, views, updates and rumours coming out of one of the, well, probably, in my opinion, and I'm biased, the biggest club in the world, Glasgow Rangers FC. And as we all know, the city of Glasgow is blue and most of the world supports Rangers. Well, that's just me. Over egging it a bit, I know. Anyway, it's match day, guys. We are building up towards a three o'clock kickoff today. Um, Rangers taking on Livingston at Ibrox, our first home game of the season. And um, what is going to be a tough game where no doubt Livingston will be coming and sitting in, low blocking, 10 men behind the ball and playing for a draw or a 1 0 defeat. We all know how teams love a 1 0 defeat. At Ibrox, uh, Rangers will have to work hard to break down that low block. And Rangers will have to obviously um, make sure that their creative players today are really on their game. Game, obviously waiting for team news closer to the time but uh, anyway news this morning that three teams are reportedly in the hunt for Rangers reserve team goalkeeper Robbie McCrory even um, now Robbie was the starting goalkeeper towards the end of last season and put in some reasonably decent performances I mean apart from the, obviously the one at Easter Road he did flap a little bit and didn't look as great perhaps that was the one that perhaps lost him um, the starting job I don't know you know I'm no expert uh, but you know he did very well in Celtic for example, you know, he's done one in the Europa League. He has done a very good job. Robbie is a very solid goalkeeper. Uh, there was obviously doubts at the club, though, as to whether he can be their long term number one due to the signing of England, former England international Jack Butland, who since he's come in has certainly done a very, very fine job for the club. Obi McCrory told Michael Beale over the summer that he wants first team football. And if he can't have that, if he can't have first team football at Rangers, then he will he wants to move on elsewhere for first team football. Um, which, you know, you can respect that a player wants to play. Uh, I just would have hoped that Robbie perhaps would have had a bit of fight in him, perhaps stayed for a season to fight for his place and perhaps show that he should be the number one uh, and taking any opportunities that he's given this year. I mean, you know, playing in the cup against Greenwich coming up and maybe even a couple of, uh, you know, other appearances in the league if you rest Butland after European nights. I don't know, you know, maybe that could be something Michael is thinking of. However, news has emerged that that um, after these talks, that um, Rangers have agreed that McCrory can leave for first team football and have placed reported one million pound price tag on McCrory's head, which I think is a little bit undervaluing the young man. I think you know you could be looking easily to what three, four million for a decent goalkeeper these days. Um, you know, even a goalkeeper who's just a backup. Um, McCrory, obviously, like I said, is very much behind Jack Butland in the pecking order at Ibrox. And there's no prospect at the moment of McCrory overtaking the Englishman. Now, the three clubs that have reported an interest in McCrory are Manchester United, uh, Rakhau, Czech, Czech, I can't even say it, are, are a Czech team and Hull City. Now, I can't see him going to the uh, the Czech team uh, because like it's it, it's it's a league that's even weaker than, than the SPL. It's it would, I think you you know the the fact that he wants to fight for the Scottish number one spot as well. I think you know that that would obviously I think he'd get lost lost out there. Um, you know the likes obviously of uh, uh, you know of Angus Gunn and. And Craig Gordon when he's fit again and, and and Xander Kelly and people like that obviously will say ahead of McCrory I think if he goes out there Manchester United have reported an interest and this is not the first time that Manchester United have reported an interest in the boy uh, before he signed his new contract at Rangers Man United were reportedly sniffing around however I think he'll be extremely foolish to go to Manchester United given the fact that Manchester United have just spent an absolute truckload of money on Anana, the Inter Milan goalkeeper so if he goes to Manchester United he's highly likely to just be a backup so if it is really that he wants first team football why go to Manchester United you know, at the end of the day, yes, Manchester United is a massive club. I get that, 100% get that. He may get opportunities in the Carabao Cup and, and, and in the FA Cup, but he's not going to play in the league and he's not going to play in the Champions League. Those will be uh, places that, that that'll be the place for Andre Onana, the, man, the starting goalkeeper. So, but that would be a, a very foolish move, in my opinion. And if he did move to Manchester United, that would certainly question what he said to Michael Beale about wanting first team football. Therefore, is Hull City a destination he could go to? Hull City, obviously, Alan McGregor went. And obviously then later came back to Rangers. So could that be a sort of history repeating itself uh, when McCrory goes to Hull and then maybe at a later date returns to Ibrox like Alan McGregor? Who knows? But uh, Hull City are a sort of mid-table, mid to lower mid-table championship team. So again, is that 
sort of what McCrory wants from his ambition, or is he better staying at Rangers and fighting for his place? You know, personally, I would say you're better off staying at Rangers, mate, and fighting for your place, and you'll get cup games. Um, you know, you may get the odd, odd game here and there in the league, uh, but you know, realistically, you go to Hull. Yeah, you may be a starter at Hull, but look, you're going to be playing Championship football and possibly even scrapping against relegation. Uh, Manchester United, you're going to be a backup. You go out to play in Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic. Sorry, you're going to be lost out there. So. For me, these none of these are particularly great moves for McCrory. But you know what? If one of them comes in with a two, three million pound bid, maybe we cash in on him. Um, but like I said, if he goes to Manchester United, that really does sort of question what he said to Michael Beal. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, I need you to do two things for me. Number one, smash that like. And number two, always please keep remembering we are the people. <laughs>